Hello, I'm Gabe Ortiz, and this is WEDU Arts Plus. St. Petersburg is an art lover's dream with its world-class museums, galleries, and murals. And the city's newest art space is taking things to the next level. Let's head to the Warehouse District for a behind-the-scenes look at Fairgrounds St. Pete. Well, first of all, you're about to leave reality. Uh, walking through these doors is a, is a whole other dimension, but it's uh, up to you what kind of dimension that will be. Hi, my name is John Michael Hines, and I'm the experience manager for Fairground St. Pete. So it's an immersive art experience, which means it's an entire world created by a bunch of artists, mainly local artists, 64 of them, collaborating to create an entire world that we invite you in to come explore. We're the anchor tenant of a larger cultural campus called The Factory, and The Factory is you know, a six and a half acre big campus where there's many artist studios and creative companies. And we're sort of one of the big anchor tenants of the factory. So our exhibition is about 15,000 square feet. Fairground St. Pete is a uh, time ticketed experience. So we're encouraging guests to reserve their time slot ahead of time. Once you arrive, our guest experience guides will uh, scan your ticket and give you a brief introduction about what you're about to experience. And from there, you will walk into the uh, wonderful, weird, wacky world of fairgrounds. What I think visitors don't realize yet is it's going to be so different than their normal art exhibition. They're going to be walking in artwork everywhere, from the ceiling to the walls to the floor. Everything's going to be art. And it's going to be a totally immersive experience and a, a different magical place. Early on, we really wanted to make a very tangible digital playground. COVID really forced us to think differently and pivot, and so we started taking uh, touchless sensors and creating um, our interpretation of what a button would be if you didn't touch a button. So there are many aspects where you kind of hold your hand over something and you get lighting and sound feedback but you don't physically make contact with something. So it, it was a way to make things a bit safer. Uh, we're also using things like foot pedals, kind of little surprises that you can kind of step on things and then something happens or it activates sounds or lighting. It's a lot of traditional uh, theater and stagecraft meets art, meets storytelling. And so the difference is, is that you don't just sit back as a passive audience member and watch things happen on a stage. You are on the stage and you are in the story. So Fairgrounds is a choose your own adventure type experience. So there is a, a storyline underlying of why, you know, certain things are where they are. It's up to you to uh, experience that and try to find out the storyline or just walk around and enjoy yourself. So, you know, that's part of our, our loose narrative is uh, we're going for the old school, uh, retro Florida motel vibe. So we do have a 100% Fairgrounds branded uh, motel room with some, some cool gadgets in there that you can, you know, play with or experiment with or just, you know, try to help find the, the storyline with. And then other rooms are nothing like a motel room because they've been taken over by an artist. But they are still have a, a Florida theme to them or, you know, whatever kind of theme that you might think it is. So Fairground St. Pete is a celebration of all weird, wacky, wonderful Florida. And when we put out the open call to artists, we knew that what we wanted was for artists to celebrate the weird, wacky, wonderful world that we live in here in Florida. I feel like Fairgrounds gets me, you know? They know that I'm more than just an artist. Like, they know I love to collect seashells. I like to just have, like, a vibe, you know? So that's what it is. Well, what stands out most to me is the, uh, the Florida-rama room. That's where we have our, our small, tiny worlds that artists have created based on our loose narrative that we provided for them. So they all brought their individuality and their ideas, and they were able to put it in a little box. I do these customized train cars, and I like the G-Skill model train cars, and I'll paint them and make them look like they're grungy or like they have graffiti all over the side of them. But this time, I knew I was going to have this opportunity, so I didn't want to just put a train in the box, so I made this entire almost a dreamlike landscape with this train going into this water and has a speaker and lights in it so you can change the mood of it. So 
more 3D, more interactive artwork for sure. So for a Fairground St. Pete, I'm doing a large site-specific installation. It's going to be covering the whole ceiling. It's going to be something you can walk under and truly feel immersed in the artwork. I'm super excited to experience it myself, you know, um, as the artist, um, seeing it through everyone else's eyes. I've heard the concept, I have not seen it yet, but I, I know there's gonna be a mermaid room and that's where my art will be in. And so I'm so excited to see it. So you guys come out and see it. So our tagline is art for all, play for all, joy for all. So it's really about everyone coming to enjoy this weird, wacky, wonderful world that we've created with uh, 64 artists. And what we really are is a stage to just show a lot of the wonderful art and the artists and creative things that are happening here in St. Pete. It's really just playful and fun and there's a lot of humor and adventure. And I think it's a great place to just have fun with your family or on a date or just to go explore yourself as an artist and to see great works. For ticket information, visit fairgrounds.art.